got that leg break to go on wickets that turn. Kumbli had difficulties in, in achieving that in Bombay. Bad pad, I think he'll be out. He is. Look like it to me live, and sure enough, Raju strikes, and the night watchman Cummins goes with the score at uh, 61 for two. Richly deserved wicket for Raju because he settled down into a beautiful line. He's beaten the bat four or five times uh, in the last couple of overs, and here the ball going straight through. No question about that. Bat hitting, ball hitting the bat first, then the pad, and a good low catch by Manjrekar. Fully deserved wicket for Venkatpati Raju. So drinks have come onto the field as Manjrekar and bat pad takes that catch from the bowling of Raju. And so at drinks, on this the third, third day of the second test match, it's Nagpur between India and the West. The and this out. And this is out. 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 ये देखिए टर्न किया बल्ले का ऊपर का हिसारा लगा और इधर से नैन मोंगिया ने बहुत अच्छा दोनों का हाथ के ऊपर संजय के हाथ के ऊपर से बहुत ही बेहतरीन कैच पकड़ा ब्रिलियंट कैच बाय नैन मोंगिया एक्सीलेंट आज का स्कोर हो गया 155 चार खिलाड़ियों का टेस्ट इन बॉम्बे ऑन दोस ओकेशंस got 42 and 20 and there's the child a loud appeal and he's out Azaruddin taking the catch and it's silly point as he did in Bombay with Arthurton on strike and therefore the West Indies lose their sixth wicket now with the score at 306 for six That's a very good, good breakthrough for India. And there we see of the pad and bat straight to Azhar. And the umpire had no hesitation. And so the score is 306 for six. There you see it again from this angle. Yes, it, it hit the pad and the bat probably at the same time, Glenn. Went straight to Azhar, who brought off a very sharp catch. Yes, going on noise out there too with two sounds. There must have been two sounds. There it is. Once again. The match is very much alive, Glenn. Uh, it's, not, it's not just that the West Indies had to get over the follow-on threat, but they have to bat on for a longish innings even today. Otherwise, they could find themselves to find themselves uh, in a bit of a mess in the last yesterday he's been protecting the newcomer Chandra Paul as much as he uh, as much as he can but now it's Raju over the wicket to Chandra Paul and he's gone he's out caught bad and bad and umpire VK Ramaswamy had no doubt at all and so young Chandra Paul is on his way and it's now 320 for seven and what a moment to bring you in, Gary. Well, thank you very much, Henry. Good morning to you and good morning to viewers. And you can see the wicket which has just been fallen. Chandra Fall coming forward. Um, again, it looks as though the ball hit the pad. And um, as, as a Rudin dive, take the catch. But looking at that photograph, Chandra Fall pad seems to, a bat seems to be quite a long way away from the ball. 320 for seven. Diving, taking the catch, asking for, for it. See it again. Look where the bat is. The bat came through very, very late. And the ball has gone off. A 
Good shot. Loud appeal for LBW and it's gone. Junior Murray hitting across the line once too often against the turning ball of Raju and the replay will tell us the story but we know the result so Junior Murray goes in the eighth West Indian wicket is down now with the total at 417 no 400 and and 17 for eight yes uh, straight a ball and Murray getting his foot inside looking to hit it to leg was pitched well up and so to 50 overs, a marathon effort from him.